Today we're going to be demonstrating a sternum x-ray. The routine views are going to be an RAO and a lateral. Our film size is going to be 11 by 14 lengthwise. Our technical factors for the RAO is going to be 400 mass at 44 kV. Uh, this is going to be on a breathing technique. So we're going to have the patient will be just slow uh, breathing and we're trying to blur out the lungs and rib markings uh, so we can see the sternum a little better. Okay, so first we're going to shield our patient. Grab that strap there. Yeah, this is right. I want to put it behind you actually. Oh. Okay, what I'm doing here with her having her put her back against here, go ahead and put your back against there for me, is it's easier to go ahead and find out where the sternum is and get your centering so when you position her, it's already centered for you. So what I'm doing is here, palpating the jugular notch, the top of the sternum here. It should be about an inch, inch and a half above the jugular notch. You can do it a couple ways. You can put the mark on the, the uh, jugular notch, and then it should be about one half, two inches above that, and then just center to your film, and then your placement uh, of your film should be correct. So we're going to have the patient now turn around, and we're going to rotate them. The uh, rotation should be 15 to 20 degrees. I'm going to move your hair if you don't mind. Uh, should be 15 to 20 degrees. Uh, it's going to be more 15 degrees for someone who has a more, um, I guess, big chested person. Uh, thinner patient, you you only use uh, you would use a 20 degree oblique. So the patient's going to be facing the board. They're going to rotate into an uh, REO position about 15 to 20 degrees. I'm going to palpate the spine here, and then I'm going to move the patient so that are about approximately an inch left of the spine. And if we do that, that's going to be on the stern. Okay, our collimation is going to be uh, to uh, the stern itself, lengthwise. Okay, so and then about four inches wide. Now our marker placement. The patient is in an REO position, so we are going to use the right marker, and we can either put it on the patient on their back of their shirt here, which is probably the easiest way, or you can put it on the board here. Uh, what we're trying to do with the uh, oblique here is we're actually trying to see uh, the sternum visualized in the heart shadow. That's how that's our, our process for this. So go ahead and turn the light back on, verify that we're centering is correct. Okay. And then again the technical factor is 44 at 400 and the patient is just going to be uh, normal breathing and so we'll make our exposure and this is our RAO view uh, for the sternum. Now the other view is going to be our lateral, so we're going to have the patient turn, put their side against there. We're going to move the shield to the side here. We want to have the patient to bring their arms back behind their, their, uh, their back, okay? So we're pushing their chest out. Centering wise, up and down should be uh, pretty close to where we need it because of where we already positioned. Our centering for this is going to be approximately one inch posterior to the anterior chest wall. And why I'm telling you that is for, for females, because of the breast, you have to go from the actual chest wall, not the breast, or you'll get soft tissue. So she's got her arms behind her back, and then I'm going to center about one inch, it'll look straight forward for me, from the anterior chest wall, okay? If we do that, then we're going to use our mar marker placement. The left side is against here, so we'll put our left marker on there. And then my collimation, uh, I want to be to the top of the IR. Make sure I'm including the entire sternum. Okay, center. And then respirations will again be uh, can be. We're actually going to increase a little bit. There's actually going to be two techniques. I'm going to tell you. Uh, 117 plus 3 uh, center cell, or you can use 500 at 55, uh, 500 mass at 55 kV. And so then what we're going to have the patient do is take a deep breath in and blow it out. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just thinking of another x ray right there. I apologize. We're going to do uh, normal breathing. So the patient is just going to breathe normally. And then we're going to make the exposure. 
and this will be our lateral sternum, and these are our sternum x-rays.